God revealed to me that I'm not in Nigeria just to be apostle's wife. To me, it's not a fancy seat. It's an assignment. I'm there to fulfill purpose. And the day I miss it, I'm in trouble with God, not with him. Because before I got there, I prayed. I prayed a long prayer. You've had the testimony many months of, let me, I'm still praying. The man of God will say, have you not finished praying? I said, I'm still asking. Because I need green light. I don't want the middle one, the orange. I want full green, then I will move. Once it's green, I will move with everything. Do you understand? You, just, you don't just walk into marriages like that. You ask of God so that the day things will be so tough, you know where to go. You won't go to that, your friend, and say, it is you. It is you who said I should marry this man. See now. He will say you are on your own. But if it is God, you will go back to him and say, so what, where have I missed? You know, every time we have this problem, we say, it's because of you. It's because of your people. It's because of the, it's no blame game. Sometimes you ask God, did I miss it? Did I miss it? Show me where I've gone wrong in this marriage so that I can fix it and move and fulfill destiny. That was my prayer. And I said, God, okay, he has given me grace. I'm here. Every move I take, I have to ask God, is this what you wanted me to do? Because I got married. If I give you my story, I won't finish. You enter a ministry that has been there over 20 years. Me, self, when they started, I was in primary school. <laughs> do you understand? When they give testimony of, in 1990, in 1990, where was I? I was in boarding school. <laughs> Somebody was paying my school fees. My dad is a bishop. He was preaching. So I can't fix one plus one when it comes to that. But when I have the revelation, I know this ministry, I'm not here to show them how big of first lady I am. How I won the battle of all the women. I'm not there to show that Above all girls, I, it has nothing to do with that. It is divine mandate. God has brought me to his life to better him. So that when he's preaching, there is no wahala in his head. I do not give him trouble. Not one day. Because I made up my mind. And I said, I'm here not to prove how I'm here to support him. See, I'm a celebrity where I come from. If I just leave the border like this, you would think I'm the one. You see reporters all over. You see people, you see me doing interviews. But when I enter here, I'm his wife. So I sit down. If I go to revival assembly, I sit. The day he will say preach, I will preach. If you say keep quiet, I will keep quiet. I won't say other first ladies are, <clears throat> why am I sitting? It's not in my mind. I, in fact, if you say do something, I'm scared because is that what God wants me to do? But my job is to support my husband and to make sure he, sub because if he succeeds, I succeed. If he has peace, I have peace. If he's happy, I'm happy. If we go out and people say, Papa, you look so good, I feel, I feel my bone will just do. Because I've done my job. Because from the time I entered his life, there's a difference now. Because some of us, by the time you enter a man's life, hey, it will go like when he was in university days. It's supposed to be better, sweeter. The man... If he was not accommodating like that, you are supposed to change him wisely because we are priceless. God will give you wisdom how to bring a man. It's not every time you talk. Other men are like this. Other men like this. Ish, now, go and pray. Kneel, pray for him. See, if you intercede for your man, eh, you see wonders. But if you talk, talk will do you wonders. Talk has its own. But prayer is the most powerful. I pray. I made it a uh, mandate. To stand by him. To support him. Pray for him. No stress. I say you will never be stressed when I'm in this house. I will keep quiet. See, even when I know I was right. And you know when you are right and they will say you have a, I will say I'm sorry. I will not try to say, eh, 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 do you think I can say that? What, 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 what? That thing has died. In me, he's already dead. If he wants to come back, I say die. Because... In this house, I am to be the, I am the inside bone that you do things quietly like snake. Shh. Shh. Abio, am I saying the truth? For you to show your power and your strength is not outside. 
Pricelessness is in the inside. It's not how fat, how thin, it's not there. Sometimes you, you hear a man talking about his wife. Eh? You look at the woman and you're like, between me and this woman. This man is just playing while you're with us. Four and nine. But you know what? He's not in the outside though. That tells you that woman is carrying something that you don't have. So it's in the inside. So some things you do, it's not every time you come out. That's what mama said. Some men have to go to sleep before they get revelation of who you are. But if you keep revealing yourself and the man has no revelation, you will fight. See, it's misplaced prayer. Am I saying the truth? It's misplaced prayer, mama. If the man has no revelation, and you, you are busy revealing yourself who you are, God says, I am. I am powerful. What you can do, I can do. He has no revelation that you are his born. You are already inside when he was naming. The revelation is not there. So if you go with your might of revealing yourself, you go cry on your own. But if you have wisdom, if you move by revelation, you pray for your man to get revelation of who you are. Once he gets the revelation of who you are, he will treat you better. You'll be looking at you and say, this woman, you say, pray for me before I leave. Even if he's not born again, he say, this is your God. Just pray for me. Every time you will talk, something good will happen. It's because he has the revelation of his woman. But when there is no revelation, you are competing and fighting. And you are wondering, I am working so hard. I'm bringing money. I'm bringing like 95%. He's bringing 5%. And he will still talk bad to me like this. No, there is no revelation. He's still in the flesh form. The one he was talking about is there. The revelation has not come to know that you are Eve. So before the revelation comes, pray for him that his eyes will open. That this thing that has covered his eyes will break. So he can see you and treat you right. If he treats you right, even when you walk, it will show that this woman, she has full backup. Amen. Hallelujah. Am I saying something? It's by revelation. Because if you understand these things, then you don't move in the flesh anymore. It's about what God has put you to do. In any house, in any marriage, to your children, there's a reason why you are their mother. Another woman would have been the wife of that man. But the fact that you are there, you are there to fulfill purpose. Don't miss your own purpose and continue fulfilling another person's purpose. Because when the reward will come, it's individual. It's, they say when God comes, when we go to heaven, there will be no, I was his wife. So that tells you, you have an assignment. There is something you need to work on because your own reward will come with your own package. Not as family. But because it's how good, how, how much revelation you got in that marriage. So don't allow the flesh to rule you. If there is a prayer you should pray, is let all my flesh die. Die! That's your prayer every day. Die! Oh, my flesh! Die! Because if it is anger, provoke a woman. And you will see how uh, anger can, uh, can respond. It's not as a good thing when the body is still alive. The flesh stinks. Because when somebody dies, it's the flesh that goes very fast. But the bone, mama said the bone, it will stay. So work on the bone, leave the flesh. Because the flesh will finish you. It will cut off your t- destiny. You will be living miserable life because of flesh. Fighting with people because of flesh. You had this, you had this, I had this. People are saying this. Eh? I can't come to church because it's like people, it's like. I tell people, when you feel like people are talking about you, come to church. In fact, that day if you are an usher, usher just from the front. That's how you intimidate the enemy. You go front, eye to eye. You don't go hiding. If you feel that you're, you're getting you know, fearful and all this, work on it. Work on your boldness because you know the devil wants to intimidate you. Don't give in. Amen? Because women are so powerful. A united women body, a church with a solid women fellowship eh, is a strong church. It's a strong ministry. Leave men alone. No men will just talk oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, and finish. But we women, we will meet together. Pray together. Pray for families. Raise funds. Work in one direction. We make things happen. So there is no room for division. You stand together as one. If it is this GLA, you stand by mama. 
100%. If I close my eyes, today I'm here. Tomorrow I was to preach in our Lekki branch. It's our Women's Day. We do Lekki branch this, and then in May we do Ogba. They were set to celebrate me tomorrow. You know, and they put poster. But you know, because I have strong women body, and my mind is not even worried. I just told them, I have to, there's an assignment. Between two, what should I do? They say, go. You have our blessings. We will stand in the gap. They are already set with buses tomorrow. They will go to our branch. Buses oh, is our women, but they are going to stand in for me. And what did my husband say? I will preach on your behalf. That's teamwork. We agree. Go here, I go here, and then we will meet later because we are fulfilling destiny. 